Pituitary adenomas are in general quite common. 10% of population present with pituitary adenomas, and sometimes these can produce hormones in excess. Most of these are non-functioning, but when they do produce hormones, a minority of these would be ACTH secreting tumors. First, it's important to understand what ACTH does. ACTH is supposed to be communicating with adrenal gland and telling our adrenal glands to produce cortisol. So whenever ACTH is overproduced, then that leads to too much cortisol being produced from the adrenal gland. And that in itself leads to something we call Cushing syndrome. The clinical symptoms of Cushing disease are, are very noticeable to the patients. They notice that they gain weight initially, so they're not happy that they, they can maybe eat very little food and, and still gain a pound sometimes per week or per, uh, and, and pretty quickly, so they gain 20, 30 pounds um, despite uh, not taking in that many calories and a lot of it's water weight. Stretch marks are a very prominent feature. They get really thin skin that, uh, that they tend to um, um, bleed easily, uh, scrape themselves easily. Sometimes they break bones because the bone density goes down quite a bit. Then the other hallmarks obviously are bad hypertension with it. And honestly, long term, uh, people just don't feel very well at all. They feel very tired. They feel sick. If your tumor is causing symptoms in Cushing's, it's very critical you get treated before symptoms get worse. Sometimes it overlaps with some other endocrine problems, but I, I, I think seeing a skilled endocrinologist in your community or or at Mayo Clinic is a very important part of it. And once you receive the diagnosis of Cushing's disease, you should seek some form of treatment at that point in time because the long-term effects can, can honestly shorten your life and it's important that it gets taken care of. If we could provide a permanent cure by removing in the situation an ACTH secreting tumor, that is what we prefer. Uh, there are some additional treatments which could be considered, such as medical therapy, which we usually do not consider long-term, just because of associated cost, side effects, as well as poor efficacy of uh, most medications for Cushing syndrome. Uh, some patients would require uh, radiation therapy, such as gamma knife therapy, and some patients rarely would require adrenal surgery. But again, the, the treatment of choice is to find and remove the pituitary tumor. The expertise um, in diagnostic Cushing's comes from seeing many, many patients with Cushing's. And because it's a very rare disease, being in a place where we have a lot of people with Cushing's coming to us, and especially because these people are seen just by several endocrinologists in the pituitary clinic, that gives us an additional expertise um, to diagnose it easier and to provide better management for these people. We also have a very collegial environment where uh, especially with Cushing's, we work as a team. I commonly would ask one of my colleagues to uh, come and see a patient with me. We collaborate with our pituitary neurosurgeons, with our radiation oncologists, with our radiologists, and all of us together ultimately come to what could be a very difficult diagnosis.